Hello, welcome back to the channel. It's Echo Stretch. In this video, I want to go over a PS4 that I have. I ended up getting it for free here. Um, basically, I have no video. Uh, you can see the screen there now. During the install process, we're going to actually go in with the install. Uh, we'll get this here set up. And we'll say OK to that. And we'll let it go. It'll go through the whole install process with no issues at all. Everything will show on the screen, but once the installation is done, or actually after you do all the settings and then um, everything is finished, there's just black screen, nothing at all. So I'll show you exactly what I mean once uh, once we get this going. But uh, yeah, if you know the issue, uh, let me know in the comments below. This is a new hard drive I just put in. Um, I had one laying around and uh, I put it in. And I gave it a try, and I still had no video, so I was like, uh, might as well try putting in a new hard drive, and we'll see what happens. Okay, so we'll go ahead and say yes to this here. We'll hit circle. As you can see, the uh, the buttons are backwards here, X and circle. This console is from Tokyo, I believe. So, here we go. But yeah, make sure you, uh, if you know what's going on, let me know in the comments below. Uh, I did strip it apart. Um, usually if I do get any consoles for free, I strip them apart and uh, recoat them on the CPU or whatever. Because usually it's dried up, especially if consoles have been laying around for a while. This one looks a little beat up, so I thought I'd... Uh, Thought I'd see if I can get it working just because it has 9.00 on it, so. Okay. So as you can see, this all comes up, no issues at all. It's just when it's done. Um, nothing, no, uh, no PlayStation menu or anything, so. Okay, so I went ahead and just uh, speed that up a little bit. It does take a little bit to uh, install, but as you can see, we are done now. Okay, and it will do the... I think it does a reboot here after that. And then we should start coming into the, uh, the setup process. Okay, I think it actually turned completely... Uh, no, it didn't turn completely off. It's just doing a reboot here. Okay, we should start seeing the setup come up. It does seem to be taking a little longer than usual. It's been a while since I did a recovery. I know I replaced a hard drive in uh, one of my other ones. I put a bigger hard drive in. I don't think it took that long when it did a reboot, but... Okay, we got something on the screen there. Okay, there's our PlayStation logo. Okay, Sony's coming up. Okay, we'll go ahead and connect our controller. There we go, and we'll scroll up to English. So you can see all this is coming up, no issues at all. Um, cancel the internet, skip that part. Um, Tokyo will go right up to our time zone, which is minus seven mountain time. Date is fine. Hit next. 
next and then this here is the last screen that I will see um, yeah hit next oh and then that's the last screen except and then start now and then from there it's black screen all the way nothing other than that there um, I don't hear any audio I th thought I heard audio before uh, maybe when I had it directly on the TV, I do have it going through the computer right now, but uh, Yeah, if you know the issue, let me know in the comments below um, Even if I do a reboot, it will be the same thing uh, It'll boot up and then I'll just go to a black screen if I hold the power button in on the controller. I will get the message uh, No, sorry if I hold the, the power button on the console in, I will get the uh, the message of it shutting down There we go. Preparing to turn off the PS4. But yeah, if you know the comment or if you know the problem, let me know in the comments below. I do really appreciate it. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.